Well, today in Baton Rouge, the State Department of Transportation is using public feedback to tackle traffic delays expected during the I-10 widening project. Fox 44's Rachel Riley explains. 2024, if you want to focus on that, it's going to be a mess. But after that, for years and years, we're going to get the benefits of it. Leaders over the plans for the I-10 widening project are shifting gears, now getting down to the finer details. The first is the constrained right-of-way. The second is to maintain traffic during the construction period. And the third is community connection. Franklin Associates, one of the leads on the project, has garnered input on mitigating traffic and disruption to the industry from stakeholders. A project of this magnitude, there are lots of challenges. For problem number one, we want to establish some ground rules, and the first is to maintain and stay within that right of way footprint. For issue number two, project heads have spoken with state agencies and large employers to consider remote working or a shift in schedule to help avoid certain routes in 2024. COVID has shown us that it is possible. They say law enforcement and emergency crews will be on hand during this time to respond quickly and to keep traffic moving. To remove stalled vehicles and disabled vehicles as quickly as possible. As for the communities, leaders will be improving surrounding areas during construction, adding things like noise walls or maintaining greenways alongside the project. So you can go ahead and start making your plans on how to best handle that. Rachel Riley, Fox 44 News. The state also hopes to have the commuter train connecting Ascension Parish with Baton Rouge up and running before the project begins. They say that should help alleviate some of that congestion as well. And speaking of traffic, we want to bring in